Hey guys, what's going on? Thought I'd do an update video on Jason Bond's small account journey. It's been an interesting last few weeks, that's for sure, and in part of that's really not Jason Bond's fault. I think it's unfortunate timing for the people that joined small account journey. He'd spent a while perfecting the strategy. He'd built an account from $2,000 to $30,000 in three months, which is just crazy good, and of course along with that comes a lot of risk. So unfortunately for the people who signed up for Jason's launch, he basically was like, that's it. Let's go guys, I've done $2,000 to $30,000, I've got this dialed in. And then he launched it to everybody with a huge sale. And I still have the link for that if you want to join at that price. I think it might work, don't, <laughs> you know, I can't promise that, but I'll leave a link in the description below where you can join the small account journey for that launch price. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but now is probably a really, really good time to start because every single time we see a boom and bust cycle with the small account journey, the timing has to be right. You have to get in after some big losses, and that's exactly what's happened now. And I feel really bad for the people that took those trades. I didn't take the trades. I'm in the service, but I didn't take those trades. And unfortunately, it all went kind of south. So let's look at that a little bit. Let's talk about what happened, what could have happened, how it can be avoided, and go from there. So let's have a look. So here, here's the um, notice that Jason sent out recently. It was a couple of days ago. And he said um, he's going to start sending out app and email alerts for every trade that he makes. The email is designed to elaborate on the trade idea, so you get more idea of why it's going into it. And these are all bull puts, so you're buying spreads, uh, which is really good. He's very aggressive, though, and that's the thing you have to realize is these are, these are high, high-risk trades. They don't lose very often, but when they do lose and you don't control that risk, it can you can lose... 200%, 300% of the buying power that you used for that trade. So if you're using $3,000, you can lose all of that or, or more. So and I'll show you exactly what happened uh, recently. And as long as you're aware of that and you're aware that you should manage your own risk, because Jason has a really, really high risk tolerance, the idea with the small account journey, remember, is it's do or die. It's like $2,000 to $100,000 or, or lose it all. And I think a lot of people don't realize that when you just show them the statistics. And I'll show you some of the stats again for you guys that haven't seen that in any of the previous reviews or videos that I've done. But anyway, <clears throat> so going forward, he is basically saying what's happened is he's basically lost all of the money he made on all of the small journey accounts. So it's basically even now. Journey 4 was very promising, hitting a benchmark and a high of 31,000. So I can also give you the link if you can't find it for that because it's kind of hidden now, which is really frustrating. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go and get more information about the small account journey, but also get the link to the previous journey so you can kind of see where things might have gone wrong, what you could do. So here you can see this is the this is the difficulty with Jason's style. And Jason's awesome. He's been on this channel several times. I've known Jason for years. I'm not dissing Jason in any way. This is just, it's one style of trading, which is basically what you have to do if you want to try and grow a $2,000 account into $50,000, which is what his goal is. I'm not a huge fan of that approach. I'm much more conservative. I've been working with Lance from ThetaTraders.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Basically, it'll take you to this site right here. This guy is awesome. So he hedges all his positions. It's a much more conservative strategy, but you can make it more risky if you want that higher reward. You can do that. It's not that hard, and he'll work with you to help you do that. But it's something that is much more stress-free. So with Jason's strategy, it's always like, oh my god, will Tesla tank overnight, or will it recover by Friday, you know? So, but that's fine. If you like that type of thing, it's, it's you know, it's you can even... Like choose what you want to do. You can do both, right? You can build your account massively with 10 winning trades from Jason in a row here. So for example, here you went from $2,000 to $10,000 in 15 trades or something like that. But you have to remember that losses are coming, that this is a high risk, high reward strategy, and it works best in a bull market, a really strong bull market, which is what we had basically from April when he started this. So down here, all the way up to here. And this is where the problem started. So this was a really nice strong bull market. And he turned that 2000 into 30000 But as soon as we had this downturn from here, so the start of the end of July, start of August, you know, that, that signified the end for these directional strategies. And what I like about Lance's strategies is they're directional, but they're not nearly as dependent on direction as Jason's are. 
So Jason started off with penny stocks and he focused on directional strategies. So while spreads also rely on theta decay, decay, they are directional with Jason because he goes so close to the money, very high delta spreads. Whereas Lance goes much, much more conservative in ThetaTraders.com, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. There's various tiers of membership. I'm in this. I help him run it, and I love the fact that his future trades are high leverage, low risk, really, really nice trades. And I'm learning a lot from Lance, and he's teaching me about hedging. This month has been great in Theta Traders. In fact, uh, just even just using the the regular uh, credit spread strategies, we're seeing you know 20 winners, four losers almost 3% on account growth from this one guy, which is fantastic. I haven't lost this month. Every trade I've closed for 100% in Theta Traders, and I'm excited about going forward. Uh, there's still challenges that lay ahead. This, You know, the markets need to bounce a little bit, otherwise some of the hedges are going to have to kick in, and hopefully we'll see them offset or even add to the wins on, on top of what we're doing. So in my mind, this is my style of trading. I don't need to turn $2,000 into $100,000. I can chill and just make $1,000 or $2,000 passively with very little risk, very consistently. And that's why I'm going with ThetaTraders.com as opposed to the small account journey that a lot of people are going with. Because on the face of it, it sounds like it's more profitable, and it can be, but you have to know how to manage your risk, and you have to know that Jason has a different risk tolerance, you know? He doesn't care that he's gone back to zero. <laughs> like, you know, he's just going to start again. Then this next journey, we might see him go to 50,000 or 100,000 or 200. We don't know. But but we've got to be our own, you know, our own bosses. You know, we've got to make our own decisions with this. Anyway, I was going to go through some of this. So the journey that really worked was this one, this um, journey four. And what happened is basically, unfortunately, this is what happens in the market. One of the agencies that's responsible for the U.S. credit uh, debt basically downgraded the rating. It's called Fitch. There's three or four main ones, and they downgraded the debt rating just by a tiny bit. So it's not even that bad, but it caused the market to sell off pretty significantly, as I showed you right here. This is when it came out. And boom, we're way down here. Broke the uptrend line that I drew in earlier, and we're just, just falling. So, unfortunately, that really put an end to this. It lost all of his profits on this uh, on this uh, small account journey, which is very, very frustrating. Now, it's not the end of the world for Jason because he started back in April and it just gave back profits, but for all the guys that joined, unfortunately, took all the losing trades. So this isn't looking so great, these huge green streaks. Now, this is not official advice, but one thing you might want to consider doing is something that... I, that I've done and, and I'm probably going to continue to do is when Jason takes a loss, make sure you get in on the next few trades. Take that money and pay yourself. If you go from 8,000 to 12,000, great, take that money, pay yourself, put it somewhere else. Don't wait for a big hit because they always come. <laughs> they always come. I hate to say it. And I know he's trying to make adjustments and make this more reliable. But look what happened right here. He was at 31,000. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And this was right at the start of the Fitch downgrades and the market just lost it. And he just went on this huge losing streak where he's losing 200%, 140%, 200%, 178%. And I can tell Jason Bond is beating himself up about this. He's not happy about this. He's upset. He works really hard for his subscribers. And you can tell from his comments and his behavior and things that this is really having a toll on him. So I don't mean to, you know mean this in a bad way or anything this is just what happens if you have a directional strategy that uh, it may work on an up market but as soon as you get hit with a strong downtrend boom you got to have those stop losses in there if he'd had stronger stops here he'd have done really well and still be still be going unfortunately after 60 70 trades of green you really start to become very complacent right you become this idea that you just basically don't think you can lose that you've got the strategy and it's winning it can all be over like that, so you've got to be careful. So, let's see what he has to say. The goal for this next challenge is $100,000. Now, one thing I'm not super excited about is he does seem to have done away with the spreadsheets, which makes it hard for me to keep track and report to you guys how things are going. Hopefully he brings those back with Jason. 
you can, you can chop and change quite a bit. Like you can, you know, the spreadsheet might come and go. So we'll see what happens. I'd, I'd really hope that you'd bring it back because it really does help people see like, okay, this is what went wrong or this is what went right sort of thing. So yeah. So now it's time to start again. I plan to focus on one diversified journey. See, this has changed from the other day where he was doing one diversified and one where he was investing all of the the income from that one back into another <laughs> another trade. So now it's back to one diversified journey with them um, varied positions with different rules. So here's some of the rules and things that he talks about in his service. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking this strategy. It's just not for everybody. And if you get greedy, you're going to get hurt. And it's it's sad and, and it's going to happen to people. And it is what it is. But if you want to avoid that again, try thetatraders.com. You'll get more personalized help. It'll be much more chilled out. I don't lose any sleep over the trades that I have in this portfolio at all. Because I know that they're going to work. And if they don't work, it's a tiny loss of who cares. So it's really good. Definitely check it out. Again, the link will be in the description, the description below. So where does that leave us? Well, the new small account journey is pretty interesting. Here is the different, the scroll down here. He has a lot more educational stuff in here about his trading style. So trading the 10 day EMA, different checklist, the Keltner stuff, basically how he does all this. The chat rooms have been combined. So now all of Jason's services, I think there's three of them at the moment. There's lightning alerts, uh, strike Raiders or something. Let me see what it's called again. Strike, yeah, Raider. And Jason Bond Picks, I guess is what he was calling Lightning Alerts before. This is the thing that you learn with Jason over the years is he chops and changes everything all the time. So he'll go from Lightning Alerts to Jason Bond Picks. The other day he was saying he was going to call this Cheddar Cheese or something. <laughs> Some sort of name like that. Hasn't happened. It's still Strike Raider at the moment. So interesting by the way this is a really good service you should check it out as well i'll do some more videos on that as time goes on and so yeah that's basically all i've got to say i mean i hope you guys didn't get hit too hard on this and i promise you though as soon as this market starts to turn around this will be a strategy that you can rely on in an uptrending market for sure it's not something that works well when the market just kind of turns over and falls like this um it can weather a little bit of a storm, but not that much of a storm, if that makes sense. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can join Small Account Journey. It'll take you to this page. I don't know if you'll get it for the price that was originally on sale for. It says here, Small Account Journey yearly, $4.99. I'll be surprised if this works, but I'll leave the link just in case you want to join. Like I said, this is probably the best time to join because... Whenever Jason or anybody in really, but I've noticed Jason in particular has a, a big losing streak, usually there's a big bounce back and you can capitalize on that and uh, make this money back plus more pretty quickly and then be more conservative and adjust the strikes or whatever you want to do uh, with the small account journey going forward. Anyway, hopefully it's helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.